guess what happened? Um, I was about to polish these because they happen to be silver, and it's not about the fact that they're silver, but it just makes me it just made me like them all the more for it, even though I already like well they look like that's why I was drawn to them, and I don't feel any energy that gets in the way so and, but guess what happened? Actually, my husband was like, what is this? And I'm like, I don't even know how it ended up there, but it was probably to bring it to our attention, because now I'm thinking, like, then does it, maybe that wasn't meant for me then, because when if they're already falling apart. I, however, like, I don't want to, like, tell you something wrong. And then, but then I remembered the blueprint, and I'm like, oh, wait, didn't that happen? That happened. And that's my first thought. They always, my husband, uh, as and always used to say, when we got, when we first met, first thought, right thought, or first choice, right choice. <laughs> However, because of what they are, I'm starting to think that you could probably like um, fix it. But I'm kind of like feeling I only just took them in. It's like they already had kind of served their purpose for. And that person, maybe like, it's time. Maybe they were just there to tell me the story, which I wanted to tell you, which I haven't even done yet. But, you know, I don't know how to put, I need to get my ducks in the row. I don't know how to put this video together. Then, you know, you know, I was recording the voice and then she came and now I'm scared because, I don't know if she heard it. I asked her. Um, was I shouting because I, I said I, f I felt like I was shouting she said no uh, oh no and does that mean she didn't hear me but like I don't want to have anything to hide and everything and I don't remember the rest of the story I just remember that um, this happened before and at the time I remember and I was so glad because I thought that didn't happen and I just thought oh, oh like I got away with it and then she actually heard me because uh, for those who like, I don't know, with the blueprint and everything, because I don't want to sound like I'm just repeating everything. It's like it's not me; it's life. So maybe new people need to hear this. Anyway, I got the pink stuff. I already polished them. I know I was already like wearing my um like old clothes. I just polished them on my clothes because they were quite a lot more black, more like the inside of here. But I really like I really like it, and I really feel like I just kind of I really love them. It's like treasuring what we have and I just thought I like them all the, all the more for it how because of what they mean what they don't mean and then I started thinking what the cross already means but also what they mean for my life now what they brought me in that day but now um yeah and now I've got home so I'm actually going to polish these. And... Um, I feel like... Is that right to just... Because I don't want to tell you anything wrong. I don't want to teach something. I want to live by example. But that's what I said earlier. If you don't... I can't provide you with anything. that I can't provide myself with even just kind of thought right in the first second to let these go that they fall apart and I think that was she did and then I know we have a blueprint to live our lives right then I but I also wanted it to like be organic and like natural like I wanted it to be I wanted to mean it I want to mean it too not just do something because oh no I know that's what you do and sometimes even though we know better it's hard but makes me feel like they already it seems like they served their time and Marie Kondo also says that that if something falls apart it's like the items way of telling you that it served its purpose and like I don't want to throw Marie in with all this talk about like Christ and it's like really different walks of life but different people have already like captured it so you know apparently she also happened to be right but like I feel like this is a bigger purpose than that but it just came to mind, so it makes me just think all the more that. But I haven't let them go yet. 
people do to kind of fix it. But I don't want to teach you anything wrong, you know. I know you might not be understanding the significance, but you will, trust me. And I don't understand the significance of these, but I love them. I love flowers already. It's just the lightness. It's almost like they're celebrating life. There's floral decoration on it. The seashells, they are really light on themselves. It also, they remind me of like holidays by the sea. And I'm not sure what the significance is, but I don't feel any energy, any dark energy, any like negative energy. Like doesn't even mean negative as bad, but just like energy that doesn't really sit right with you. I don't feel any of that. It just, it feels like I stop reading life. I can't explain it any better. So I don't know if there's a significance I'm overlooking. Because the bum bag, I started thinking, what's wrong with that one? I love it. But, and then I, I remember it's like the blueprint and Nadia's show. And I was like, started thinking, oh no, what if like, I, I don't know, it made me think. And then I was like, oh no, it doesn't really fit around my waist because I'm kind of big. So, um, I used to say, I used to say, Pet, unfortunately, because if other people like internalized how worthless they thought I was, then even if they didn't think so, I wouldn't admit it. Then I started saying chubby because I, I didn't want to call myself fat when I realized when I became conscious of that. But then I started. Now I'm starting to be like, like I feel like realistic. It's like, no less, no more. Just like I only like myself who I am. But I'm also going to be realistic, and I also like to be, I'd also like to, you know, when you like, you don't know if you're going to lose weight, but you can, st you're beginning to, st like, you can, you're starting to, you can see yourself becoming a person who, in whose future that would be a thing. Does that make sense? if they fall apart and the blue wasn't my style in the first place so I thought I think they've already given me the value but I think I know Nadia would have done this better but anyway when you get here then you can do it better I, I don't know they just like but the lightness the lightness of the imagery of like floral and the lightness of the sea and the holiday and seashells and then they are actually physically light I love the shininess. It's pretty. Um, I want to say one thing. I think the main thing here is the bottom stuff. But after I done that, decided because the thing is, oh man, because then there was a moment I was eating. And all of a sudden, I, I, I was like, what is that? I tasted everything so much clearer, so much clearer, or so much deeper. I don't know how to even describe it. It was like, so new to me that I didn't even have words, but I, I didn't even write. I was like, what is this? At first, I thought it was something wrong with my food. I don't want to say that, but like. This is tasting interesting. What? But it didn't taste off, but it was like, I tasted the depth of it, and then I kept eating, and I'm like, and I, I tried something, because that was like a vegan fish fillet, and then I tried something different, because I'm like, because it didn't taste off, but I was like, is there something wrong with it? Is this the way it cooked? It was cooked on the peppers. But then I was eating the peppers, and everything just tasted stronger, I suppose you'd say, but like, it's like I tasted food for the first time. I'm like, oh, wow. And then I realized what it was and I started putting two and two together. And then I'm like, I started, I started thinking, well, maybe because I was like, you know, uh, how do you say it? Not pushing the energy away, but sending it away, not even accepting it. Like, or the, maybe the, taking purification further if you will I started like thinking because I would like I don't know what to call it but I did not let that energy get in 
like maybe it's like life's way of like rewarding like responding that now I could taste better and maybe I don't really know more about it yet that that happened and I, I, I don't know I don't I'm not finding the words because I'm so scared that this will cut me off with this video but I like sent, let's say just sent the energy I didn't send it back because I didn't I didn't even accept it like theoretically I didn't even accept it And then, it was like, the less we accept these kind of, like, dark energies, energies that aren't from us, the more, it was like, I could, I don't know, the more, like, clear and purity we can have. I don't know how to phrase it, but, like, it was like I was eating food for the first time. I was like, I've never, it was like I never tasted food. Sometimes we we say that because I don't know, but it was just I just tasted the depth of the food for the first time. It's like I, I can't explain. I don't know. I'm not phrasing it right. It's like I didn't, as if you got like let go of energies that like kind of stood in our way of actually tasting things for real. I wouldn't know how to better put this. Yeah, so, and I had, I still had a dessert waiting, and I started thinking, how am I going to eat the dessert? Because I won't be able to taste because of the sugar, like, how much more intense? Because now it is already, is unfortunately, a lot of sugar and a lot of things. So I, I didn't know, how would I eat that? But, I, I don't know, somehow, I think when I got conscious of it, it kind of, like, went away or maybe I got distracted or I didn't want to waste the food that I just paid for and yeah I thought m maybe next time I just won't get any more sweets and then I feel like as soon as it happened it's kind of I don't know if it's yeah kind of gone for now but that was like an awesome moment and now I'm like so that's what food it's like that's what food really tastes like and I don't know if I like it. I started thinking, because some of the junk food that we eat and things like that, it was like, um, like, how will I ever eat if I taste all the flavors so deeply? Because if we all eat really healthy food, then it, it will just be a feast for the taste buds. But what if I eat, like, this? And it was, mind you, it was pub food, so... Maybe that's why at first, because I couldn't place it, because like it's not really off, but like I don't I still don't know. Like, but I was like, Christ, God, thank you for this miracle. Like, thank, because like, uh, you know, when they said every day holds val holds value. Even the things I mentioned where I, I wanted to have done better, but this still came through, you know. And it's also like love kind of showing us a glimpse of what it could look like it's one of those moments and I, I want this to I want it to last it's like I don't know I, 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 don't, I can't speak for I'm gonna say Christ I, I, I can't speak for them but it's like the whole energy thing like work I don't want to say work but like the energy like the purification or the like leaving energies out the door that don't work for me actually like paid off it's like life showing me the, either the reward or like the effects or like what life could look like like if you let all these energies out the door then this could be like what's left of the energies that pre i don't know how to phrase it guys but it it, it happened and then there was a baby at the other table and he was looking and i think it's a boy and he he was so sweet and cute I kept smiling and I'm just finding that I'm more open with people than I used to be or ever was or like most of the time, yeah. Like, I feel like I, I thought to myself, maybe I'm more open. Then maybe I'll be more open once I really, like, 
get there more than I ever was because maybe like not knowing how to kind of because I used to not know how people like I didn't look people in the eye and doesn't like the more you live apart from them like when you're open you're really with them like then I started looking at it as if maybe this could have been a good thing in retrospect later like you know I don't know but Xavier Nudu in his song he said um so what so Weit entfernt der Osten von dem Westen ist, so weit entfernt er unsere Schuld von uns. Und he was talking about God, and he said, as far as the, oh, he said, oh, Osten vom Westen. What is, did I say Süden? No, I said Osten. As far as the East is, um, as distant for, as it is from the West, that's how far the Lord God removes our um, guilt from us. Earth. And, yeah, I don't know, that must come from the Bible, but. It always reminds me of how I feel like as far as we are away from him, that's how much we love him when finally when we finally find him. So I'm looking at some people and I was thinking when they find out like how much they will love him. I know we can't measure love, but it just makes me think because the more we know the abyss for one of a better the more like we will appreciate and love finally finding God, right? So then it just makes me think, I don't know, it just makes me so happy. It's like, deeper, it's like, more meaningful now. So maybe some of us need those challenges uh, that we go through as human beings. Okay, I'd love to show you how to polish these, but I won't be able to, yeah, I don't know if I've ever overlooked something, but I was I, f I started thinking and then when I remembered the blueprint and I think I could only remember I don't know if it was the same one for her that was silver I would have told the story differently if my camera had cut off because I would have first told you after seeing these and decided that I would keep these I would have first started with that then I would have started said I saw the then I saw these and I really liked them and I started thinking well I hadn't wanted to take anything but I actually really liked them. They looked nice. They remind me of my mom because she would have had something like this. I wonder if the stone was real because, and it isn't about like the riches, like that something is real, but like it just means more. It just like I like that it's real as if that's because when a human being is real, it's like it's almost like it. I don't know if that's an overinterpretation, but it has like a depth to it that maybe plastic can't really provide I don't know but I mean I don't know and then I have and I thought are they real then I thought no they can't that would be too lucky but then I looked at it and I was like oh 925 and as I mentioned earlier it's not about the silver but I like them even more for it because they already looked lovely if I hadn't liked them no meaning of keeping them Recording on. And I haven't even gotten to talk about this. But I wish I had known that they fell apart. But, um, yeah, I was just in the middle of that. I don't know why I worry that I don't get to tell things uh, the same way as I would have if I'd filmed it while it was happening. But I thought to myself, why don't we can't? Because I had already had a, a cross necklace I wore. And I heard somewhere that you don't like wear these as fashion accessories because of what they mean. And but then I started thinking, and also when my classmates wore them, and it, it just, they behaved so, I don't even, like, unchrist, you know, unchrist like that I didn't even. It didn't, it didn't really make sense, I didn't figure why they then wore those, and then I started, oh, maybe they really just considered them fashion, and then I was like, that isn't, I didn't like it, and I was reminded of this today, but then I started thinking, why, why aren't, because those who do mean it, I was thinking, why aren't we allowed to wear that, and I started remembering the necklace, and it meant a lot to me, because it, it signified, or symbolized um, what Christ had done for us. So I really left it. I really like the necklace I wore it every day, and I felt like a 
I did it for God rather than I was like I never felt like he had a problem with me for it like I always felt fine or maybe even sent me along the way to come across the necklace and I don't I can't speak for him but I feel like it I don't know it it just made me think you know why can't we wear if we can wear necklaces why can't we wear earrings and then I just felt like realized because of what they mean like I I respect them too now and I like them too because of what they mean and maybe I'm phrasing it wrong because if I could have said it to you straight away but I feel like the problem would be the, the thing would be the problem would be if you were just wearing them for fashion purposes but that's not what I was doing. I was drawn because I, that's, like I said, you know, this blue, I had a blue face, which is, I was like nine. So this isn't even my style anymore, but I like them because they were crosses, but because of what they stand for, what that means. And what, if I had worn them, I would have been wearing them. So if I can wear a token of what, of my faith on me as a necklace, why can't I do that? On my ears because when you mean it if you mean it you mean it why can't you then if you mean it then at least you're not lying about and also you're not lying about that you mean it and why not then show it I don't know I just I don't know if I'm saying the wrong thing right now but with the showing and the at least you're not lying because that's not the point but like the point is meaning it if you were to just wear it for fashion, then I don't know why people wear crosses for fashion when they're not Christian. Because I don't wear, I don't know, if I didn't know if there was something. But do I wear a Jewish star when I'm not Jewish? Even if I don't, I didn't, with my classmates, or I was thinking with my classmates, how didn't they, why didn't they, why didn't it? Why didn't they mind it? Why didn't it? But maybe then they 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 were Christian or considered themselves Christian. But the way they treated me, those specific people, and others in class, they 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 behaved very unChristian, if I may say so. So I would never understand. So wearing it for fashion purposes, I see the issue with that. Not only I see the issue, I I think I have an issue because. You're not really wearing it, but when you wear it because you mean it, then what's wrong with wearing them? Because you already meant it from your heart. And this is why I was drawn to them in the first place. If it makes sense. Like the new me, because maybe the old me would not have seen it that way. So then it actually became special. So I feel like, I hope I'm bringing the point across enough, but when you mean it, you mean it. But like, What's the meaning of stopping us from wearing them when we already meant it in our heart? Where is, um, I was reminded of those people. There's two people. I think I saw them in class when I didn't understand it. And eventually it started dawning on me that these really are just like being used by the fashion industry. I'm not buying a fashion industry all day. I'm sure there's a, like, lots of fun with fashion etc it furthers some people to work there if you have an art and a calling for a reason etc but like I don't like I'm not pointing industry out but I feel like I came across like like they took a design because if I took another design like uh, these flowers I can work with that but you took a design from faith and you're I don't even know how to put this in words that you were just creating like a design from it that's like it's like blasphemy in, a, in, a, in an image if that makes any sense I don't even know how to say that but like but like why would we be not allowed to wear them if you already felt it then I just thought like I had this necklace what if I was why was I allowed to wear a necklace why would I I don't remember what these are called but you know the heads that some Muslims wear for to cover their heads, like, in a lot of respect, 
why are they allowed to wear this? And I'm not allowed to wear a cross. If that makes sense. Because when you met, when you fought, the, the feeling was already there in the first place. I know I'm starting to repeat myself. I just, I don't know why I'm feeling like you haven't found, like, the right words. But. There's a lovely homie off. Uh, 